honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, I'm going to do some more quarantine cuisine cooking. I'll be making some tacos. Let me get my stuff. Okay, I'll be using two, two pounds of lean ground beef. It's 85.15. Got two of these. These are the shells I'm going to use. And where's the packets? I'm using three packets of the taco seasoning mix. You're supposed to use one packet per pound of meat. And I have two pounds, but I'm using three packets. It won't be too salty, I guarantee. So I'll be using my rice cooker. So, let's get started. That's this kind of pan. I, I could have used my uh, little pressure cooker, or I could cook this on the stove. I'm going to cut this. Like buying this uh, meat in the rolls now. I always smell it, make sure it's fresh. I used to wouldn't buy it because I like to buy, I like to see what I'm buying. Make sure it looks fresh. You can't see what you're buying when you're buying it in the roll. And then I started and it always, I've never had a problem with it. Sweet all that meat out of there. pounds of lean ground beef. So there won't be a lot of grease. If I were to use just plain chuck, it would make a lot of grease. So I'm going to let this cook and I'll be back. Then after it's uh, cooked a while, then I'll use my hamburger Breaker upper thingamajig. So everything I talk about, I'll leave a link for it. Flying a feather. <laughs> Y'all know I was under the weather for maybe three days. I didn't know what was wrong with me. Anyway, I'm fine now. So I was drinking hot tea. Kept drinking a lot of hot tea. I was drinking the peppermint tea, the lemon, the herbal tea, and lemongrass tea. And I was putting this in it. Some ginger and some turmeric in the hot tea. So I was sipping on that throughout the day. In my Miss Bee's Honey mug. And this is part of my merch. I'll leave a link for it too. What are you doing, man? You don't want me to put the camera on you. He always clowning. He in the background acting like he a bodybuilder. <laughs> Miss Bee's Honey's mug. So... I'll be back when this meat is ready to be broken up more with my meat hamburger thingamajig. I don't even know the name of this. I never know what the name is. But I'm not going to use it now on this really raw meat because raw meat will get all stuck in here. And I don't want that. So I'll wait for it to cook a little bit. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to open up these packets and get everything else ready. You need some water. Whenever you use this, you need some water to put in there. But that's after the meat gets done. So I'll be back. Okay, the meat is done and it has very little 
grease. I'm using my meat chopper so I don't have no big old giant ignorant chunks of meat in my taco. Okay. Now I'm going to put the seasoning in. Now if this meat was raw, then it would be chunks of raw meat stuck all up in there. Okay, using my slotted spoon now. Put in my seasoning. And it won't be too salty. This is how I season. It's going to be good. Like I said, you're supposed to use one pack per pound of meat. But I'm using three packs for these two pounds. Now I got some water out of my fountain. So I don't use hydrant water. Put some water up in here. And let this cook down. Let these seasonings get all up in here. And you can use a rice cooker for more than just rice. It's smelling like tacos up in here. I think that's enough water. This man, he wants some more of these fries. Because I don't really care anything about fries. So I'm going to air fry some of these big potato wedges. Deli style seasoned potato wedges from uh, Walmart. The Great Value brand. I buy all the time. That's enough. Just back in the freezer. That's enough fry for him. I'm gonna spray him. Use an olive oil. Using my Kasoi 5.8 quart air fryer, and it's sitting on the nifty rolling countertop tray. And right now, this is the only one that's big enough for the Kasoi. So I had the other kind too with my other air fryer. Okay, it's gonna take about eight minutes, and I'm gonna set this for 400 degrees for eight minutes. Now, if you're using ground turkey, um, you have to really watch it because it's drier than ground beef and you don't want to burn it. You have to really watch it. Okay, I'm going to I think I'll leave the top open. Let this water cook down. I'll be back. Okay, y'all, the meat is done. my taco shells. I always put cheese in the bottom and the top so that hot meat can get on the cheese.
Bologna. Where's that cheese? Put some cheese on the top. So the cheese can melt. Salad, just regular salad on my tacos. I didn't get the shredded lettuce. Sometimes I do. I'm putting this on here, thick and chunky salsa. More sauce than that. Okay. Close this up. Check the fries. But they're good. So that's enough for water. You say that I got my nerve. Plug this. Plug that. Do my thumbnail. I want to thank you all for watching. Leave me a nice comment. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. That's my thumbnail. And no, I don't put sour cream on my tacos. People are going to ask, where's the sour cream? I like it, but I usually don't buy it and put it on here. Okay. Y'all be blessed. Bon appetit. Bye. Stay home and cook. And be safe. Okay. Bye. I made you some fries. Okay. You want the camera on you? <laughs> well, why you get up every day looking like that? I look good. Like he's been shot a million times. He got on a white t-shirt and he got all kind of holes in it. He put it on every day. Like he cute or something. That ain't cute. Mm-mm. Okay. I'm gone for real now. Bye.